Hello, good morning. I hope you're doing well and you had a fantastic weekend and you are here now starting off your Monday um, strong. Uh, here in, in Madrid, we had a lovely rainy weekend and I say lovely, not sarcastically. It's really, to me, it's really lovely um, when it's um, wet outside because you don't get this type of weather much here in Madrid. So whenever we get it, I'm super happy. Um, anyways, that's the weather is not why I'm here uh, to talk to you too. I'm here to talk to you about the video I shared yesterday in Rios where I was um, um, talking or expressing the overwhelmed feeling and how to overcome the overwhel overwhelming feeling. The other day I was in a meeting with some awesome business ladies and one of them was expressing how overwhelmed she was about the choices um, out there. She wants. She wants. She basically wanted to start a course, go back to school, university, whatever, and she was trying to figure out what she wanted to study. But the offer is so incredibly abundant that it makes it super hard to to take a decision. And very quickly. Um, I was thinking um, that's not only the case about education choice, that is the case with everything else. That's the case with sales. Sales process is so complex and so long that you don't know where to start or having a business is so, uh, you know, so many things you have to do, social media, and, and you don't know where to start. And I tell you, choose one thing, start by that one thing, and then you slowly progress from that. And I love, I love, love, love to make um, a parallelism with my journey into getting back into fitness again after Sofia. And it hasn't been easy. And when I, when I, when I had the, the thought of, oh, I'm going to go for a run. Oh, but it's, it's going to be 30 minutes. I really cannot do three, 30 minutes. I'm too out of shape. 30 minutes is too much. And when I thought 30 minutes was too much, I would never go out and run. And then something clicked in my head. And I said, why do I have to go for 30 minutes? Why can I not just go for 15 minutes? And I can possibly do 15 minutes. Everyone can do 15 minutes, right? Um... When that changed in my mind, and I said, oh, I'm just going to go for 15 minutes. I put on my clothes, I put on my trainers, and off I was running. And guess what? I have often did more than 15 minutes. I have often did the 30 minutes I was afraid of. Um, and that's, that's also with other things. So I tell you, um, I want to stop... Uh, training again, like training different exercises. But again, it just felt super overwhelming to, to do something because it seems like if you don't do what they call those, those things that you have to jump and, and you know, they look so difficult and so tiring, um, you couldn't do any exercise. So then I just decided I was gonna do Five different exercises, five, not 10, not eight, not 20, not 25, five different exercises. I reckoned I could, I reckoned I could find three upper body exercise and th or three, um, three, ex five exercises, basically easy uh, that I enjoy doing and uh, wouldn't take me uh, so much and I'll be able to do it. And that was it. And five exercises, three series of um, my age number. So I divided my age in three. And uh, I did three series of five different exercises. And that was enough to start. And pretty soon after I felt confident, doing those five, uh, three series of five different exercises, I start doing more. 
Now, okay, let's go back to business. Um, what about selling? The same thing, the s exactly same thing. I have a list of things that needs to be done, but it's not the list because the list can be overwhelming. So I decide that throughout my day, I have to do at least, at least 10 activities, 10 activities that will get me closer to uh, selling my services. And that can be writing a post, that can be making a call, that can be um, following up with someone, that can be, you know, whatever I want, whatever I feel doing. But I know that by determined the number of activities I'm going to do, it becomes easier. It becomes less overwhelming because when I think of the whole things I need to do in a business, especially because it's my own business and I have to do it all, um, or at least the things I don't, I don't uh, delegate, no, <laughs> but I still have to oversee what I delegate. Um, it becomes doable, doable by deciding that there's one thing I need to do that is doable. And what happened very soon, you realize you're actually doing a lot more than, um, than you could have hoped for. So decide today what is that one, two, five things you want to do today. Put it a number and then make sure uh, you track that number down. Have you done it? The feeling of finishing things that you set yourself for, like five exercise, three series of X amount and five exercise or 10 activities that will get next to, to my next cell. Um, it's easy. And the feeling of having achieved it, even if you haven't closed, even if you haven't lost uh, a pound, um, you did your best to get to where you want. And that's what you have to focus on. You have to do your best to get to where you want. So I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.